Hello and welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom and today is something a little different here. I had to uh, I had to uh, recently purchase a, a new converter box because I was expanding and there wasn't anything wrong with this old one. <clears throat> and so I got one the same thing as I had before. This is the uh, this is the old one here that I think I think you pronounce that Emertech, I, I guess. Emertech. Well, anyway, whatever it is, <laughs> that's one that's one Walmart carries and Target carries. And I just now looked online this morning. I always do stuff late. <laughs> and Amazon has them. And of course, Amazon is at least, I think it was $12 cheaper than Walmart. So, hey. You know, so, you know, hindsight's 2020, but anyway, it is what it is. But now this is new and improved. It, it is better. So let me see if I can show you some of this. You go, okay, now I'll show you as much of this stuff as I can, but, you know, YouTube is real picky, and I understand that about copyright infringements, and so I try not to do nothing that has any copyright infringements in it. So the sound is all the way down on this, and you just see a little picture around the corners. And I can't imagine that being any kind of copyright infringement. But I'm sure if it is, they'll let me know. But anyway, to get back to the box now. Now, the, the uh, remote controls will not interchange, I've noticed before, which is fine. I just soon have its own remote control. But now, you get this screen right here when you hit the uh, menu button, which is right there is your menu button. And when you hit that menu button, this is the screen it comes up with. Now, this is just for cable covers. If you've got cable TV and satellite dish and all that stuff, you don't need any of this stuff. But this is for us cable cutters that has, well, I can't afford another $100, $150 to watch TV because there's only one or two channels I really suffer over. And so I'm not going to pay that much to watch those one or two channels and they won't let you pick them out. So, hey. This is fine with me. So anyway, first thing you get here is your program, and you notice you got your program edit and your EPG. Let's see if I can get where I'm pointing some of the stuff. Maybe well, I'm talking about EPG and then sort and then game. And so then the next one over is picture, and here's where you can make your screen different size and your resolution different. And I've got this one set for 1080, 60 hertz, and uh, TV format NTSC. And that's the way I think as it's supposed to be for uh, for over-the-air TV. And that's what this is. Now, all this is coming from Antenna. I wish I could show you the picture, but I don't want to take a chance on it. But it's just, it's, it's, this little box has got a great tuner in it. So it, if, it's, if, it, if you've got your antenna to where it'll pick up any channels, these little boxes have a great tuner in them, and so they will pick them. They'll pull them in if they're out there. So next, we go over to channel search, and here's where you do your you do your auto search. Now I've already set this one up. I don't know what's going to happen if I try to do it again, but you do your auto search, and if you hit over to the right arrow. And it goes into this search. Now it's going, to, it's going to search for all my channels again. And so I'm going to pause it until it does it because it takes about five minutes. But that's all. And I should have about 60 channels when it finishes. So I'll be back in about three or four minutes. But now you can see them start to populate here. Maybe I'll keep it here for just a minute instead of, instead of uh, pausing it. <clears throat> but now you can see my channels starting to... That's, that's the... Uh, Tuner pulling these channels in, and that's all the channels I'm picking up here. So now you can see them how they're going, and uh, that's not near all I'm gonna get. There it goes, jumps on up. So, well, I'll let, I'm just gonna let it go so you can see what it does, and if the video's too long, I'll cut some of it out. But anyway, now I'm about uh, I'm about 55 miles, 50, well, between 40 and, and 60 miles away from the, the uh, TV station towers, and this is what it's pulling in. But now, I do have some decent antennas, but this, this is all the channels it's pulling in. Like I say, I'm a long ways away from, 
I'm a long ways away from the uh, TV towers. And you see, now all these channels you don't want to watch, just like on cable or satellite, you don't want to watch all of them. But you're not paying $100, $150 a month to watch them either. So, you're not paying anything after you buy this box. So, well, it's up for your electricity, I guess. Your TV, which you got to have anyway. So, I have my wife's favorite channel just came out. Buzzer there. She loves the game show channel. So, as long as I get the game show channel on all the TVs in the house, she's happy. You know, so she's happy. I'm tickled to death. Okay, I'll be back when it finishes now. Okay, now your next, oh, by the way, I got about uh, 62 channels a while ago when I did scan. Now your next one over is your time, and I've got mine set for Eastern time, of course. I'm in the East, I'm in Central Florida, and, you know, you self, the rest of those down there are sort of self-explanatory. And you go over here to the language, and I've got English, and but I'm sure you can change them to several different ones. Okay, and the USB here is my, now this is an important one. If you want to pause live TV and uh, stuff like that. So let's go down and check out some of this stuff I'll show you. Now, the multimedia here, you hit the uh, button on that. Now it will show you music and uh, photos and movies. And uh, if you've got any movies on this USB uh, thumb drive here and then your PVR now, I don't know if I've recorded anything I don't think I've recorded anything on this thing so let's see no it just shows I've got something in there so now we'll go back but now okay I want to show you how to set up how to do a recording here in a minute all right so we'll, we'll exit out of that you just hit your exit button Okay, and you go back, back, back. Well, you don't have to go back, really. All you do to have to do, really, is hit the exit button again. Okay, now you go down here if you want to, uh, you want to do your PVR configuration, and you hit the right arrow on that, like it's showing you, and you come over and you, it says record device. Okay, and you can click on that right click on that again like it says okay now this is your time shift now you can you can change this now I've got it set for three gigabytes on mine here that way you can you can pause this up I think it's about hour hour and a half I could pause this with three gigabytes I guess it depends on what's playing but now you can change it you know you can click the right arrow button see and it'll go on up as far as as much as you've got on as much as big as your thumb drive is you know but three is where I think I'm gonna be most happy at with it so I'm just gonna leave it there and then down below of course it tells you your disk total disk space and all that stuff so now we'll go back out of that you hit your exit button again okay now I'm gonna show you this in a minute how I did this but I've got a recording set up to start at 9.30 and end at 9.33 and I've got one to start at 9.34 and end at 9.40. Now we're going to see if that works. Okay, for the very <clears throat> best thing about this thing is to me, they have switched, finally switched over from, it used to all just be military time, it was on 24 o'clock. And now they've got the uh, <laughs> normal, for us civilians now, a normal time instead of uh, jumping around, you know, like 1,300, 1,400 such as that it just goes from 12 to 1 to 2 so that is much better now if you want to record something you you get on your program guide right here and like, like you say you want to record this pick a puppy it comes on at 11 or 10 30 and goes off at 11 and you hit the ok button on it and then you go down here 
And it's going to show you, it automatically comes on the time that it, the show comes on and it ends the time the show goes off. And to confirm it, you just go down here to the bottom and to the record and then you hit OK, which is right there, the OK button. OK, now that's like, that's going to record that channel from 10.30 to 11. So now you want to uh, record something else. Now let's go back. You have to hit your exit button. Okay, now say I want to do it on. Now, this is one of the little tricky things about you can't change. You can't. Yeah, you can too. Now, used to you couldn't change channels on your, on your program guide like that. You had to exit out and then go to that channel and change it. But now you can go ahead and change it, evidently. So that's something else I didn't know about. I'm glad to find out. And so that's pretty neat right there. So I won't go all the way back here to 2.2, and that's me TV. Okay, now if I want to, uh, like if I, I want to watch this, I want to watch this uh, say Bonanza it comes on at 2 and goes off at 3. And so you go highlight that, and then you hit the OK button, and it comes over here, and it, and you can see right here that's the channel that's on 2.2 MeTV, and today's date, and it comes on at two, goes off at three, and if you want it, now you can do this for every day. If you want to record every day between two and three, you hit like that, and it'll go daily two to three. And if you want it to go once a week, like if I wanted to record it every Saturday, you just go there and hit weekly, you know, and then highlight it, leave it like that. But I just want to do it one time, so I want to do it once. And then you come down to record, and then you hit OK. OK, now I've got these two channels that I want to record on on these dates. And so I want to show you, I'll try to demonstrate how that works in just a second. I've got to pause it because I don't want to show too much content here. Okay, now I recorded two short videos a while ago just to make sure this worked the way I said it would. <clears throat> and so to find them, you go down here to you. Let me go back. Make sure you know. So you go go to your uh, go to your menu again, and you go down to you keep on highlighting it to get to USB, and then you push it down there. And then push it one more time, and no, you hit multimedia, you hit multimedia like that, and you hit your right arrow button. Okay, and then you go over to where it says your PVR. Hit the PVR, and go to HB PV. Okay, go to PVR, and highlight that. Okay, and there's the two programs I, I, I recorded a while ago. One of them I just had to come on at 9:34. And the other one, I mean, go off at 9.34. I'm getting confused here. One of them, the MeTV, I had to come on at 9.30 and go off at 9.33. And then the Dowell channel up there, I had to come on at 9.34 and go off at 9.35. And I, I want to just show you real quick and hope I don't get busted for it. But, like, if you wanted to watch the uh, MeTV that I recorded for three, three minutes, I think it was, you highlight that one. And you push the OK button, and it's loading. So we've got to exit out of that real quick. So I wish I could show you, but you, there's a little button there that you, the hold that says push the hold button to make it full screen, and that's the little button right here on the bottom left-hand corner of the remote control. It says hold on it, and you push that when that little screen comes up there where you're watching something. And it goes ahead and makes it uh, full screen for you. So that's about it for this long video. I'm sorry it was so long, but I was trying to get so much information in there as I could so you could uh, see as much as you could because the instructor uh, try to find out the best way you can your information. I, it's just I love stuff like this, and I'm always tinkering with it. And that's why I can like to why well, I just find out how to do stuff like this. And I'm sure if you want to, you can too. So if you're a cable cutter or you got just, just got a TV in another room with an antenna on it 
and you want to pick up some, you want to pull your channels in, too, and then you can do all this stuff with it. And I hope they let me have this on there. If they don't let me have it on there, I'll just take it off. But I hope you can get to see it before they take it down or make me take it down or whatever. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little video as drawn out as it was. And I hope you watch more of them and come back and see me real soon. Until next time, y'all have a real good and safe day now. And if you can, join our channel and give us a thumbs up. We sure would appreciate it. And like, so, like I said... If you can wait for another day, you might want to look around and see how much you can get these for. Because it was a lot, well it was $12 cheaper from Amazon than it was from uh, Walmart. So, till next time, y'all have a real good and safe day now. Goodbye.